Okay, so for 30, 60, 90. So a different ratio this time than your original that we were doing for 45, 45, 90. Um, we are going to also, like I said, you can memorize them or you sometimes you can use the Pythagorean theorem. In this case, it's a little harder because 30, 60, 90, you don't, if you know one side, you can't assume the other two sides. So it's not going to work as easy as your 45, 45. So from 90, this is always going to be a value of x. So that's your base value. Your hypotenuse is always 2x. And then the other side is x square roots of 3. And just like our previous videos for the 45, 45, 90s, I would write that as many times as possible or put it on a post-it note, hang it on your bathroom mirror or somewhere that makes it really easy that you don't even realize you're studying and memorizing it, but you see it a lot. And maybe you'll have a visual picture that you can pull out later. All right, so if I know 16, I always go for my whole number first. 16 is 2x, so that means I can solve for x fairly easily. So 2x equals 16. Divide by 2, because that's get x by itself. So x is going to equal 8. So I know x is equal to 8. If I know x is equal to 8, then I know y, this side over here, is indeed 8. So y is going to be 8. And then x is going to be 8 square roots of 3 which can't be reduced in any form or fashion. So in this case, our worksheets x is equal to 8 square root of 3. And I'll write this better so it's a little less confusing maybe. And y is equal to 8 is how you would answer this question. Um, again, so if you want to use a different letter than x for your memorization, if they have x and y on the triangles, that's fine. Uh, remember, these variable x doesn't really matter. It can be a smiley face or a heart. It's just the unknown, but it's just the ratio of each of these sides values in relation to the other. So again, 30, 60, 90, because if I use 30 and I use 90, then I know I have 60 left. The hypotenuse is always 2x, and that's the side across from the 90. The, the side across from 30 is always going to be x, and the cross from 60 is always going to be x square roots of 3. So across from 30 is going to be your x value. Across from 60 is always going to be x square roots of 3. Um, in this case, it's not our 2x that we have. We don't have our hypotenuse, but this tells us that x is equal to 2. So if I know x is equal to 2, if I'm solving for u, I need to plug that in to 2x. So u is going to equal 2 times 2 because that is that side. So u equals 4. <clears throat> Again, if we know that x is 2, then v at this point is x square roots of 3. So we're going to plug in 2 for x because we know 2 is x because it's right here. Square roots of 3, and that can't be reduced in any form or fashion. So v is 2 square roots of 3, and u is equal to 4. So I'm going to leave this video kind of simple. Two examples. Try the next ones if you want, and then watch the next videos. Or if you're still unsure, keep watching, guys.